All right, I got uh, one of my PC boards back. This is the uh, filter one, the Moog filter, the uh, diode ladder, ladder filter, and the single lended filter. So this will be a great board. So um, I'm going to be building that today. Um, now in the box, uh, uh, again, these are donated by PCB Way. In the box, I got a bunch of rulers, uh, and I already had a collection of rulers, uh, and uh, they gave me uh, a few more. So let's take a look at those. Okay, so these are the new ones. These are the ones I already had. And so these are all the various colors you can get PC boards made into. Um, this yellow seems to be lighter, so that's, that seems to be a new color. These match. These are the kind of this uh, matte black, which I really like. It's one of my favorite boards. Um, uh, matte black one. And then these three don't match. So these, these are new also. This one looks like orange, pink, and kind of a gray. Uh, so yeah, they have, they've expanded their color range. So anybody, uh, anybody interested in that, but, uh, certainly, certainly after my PC, PC board collection, <laughs> my, my PC board ruler, ruler collection, uh, if you ever seen one of these, they, uh, they have the different, uh, uh, surface mount pads and stuff like that. Um, I actually use them once in a while. They come in handy. Um, they also, uh, they also gave me uh, two more items that I've never seen before. These must be new for them. Um, usually, these things are order. You can order these things on their on their uh, PC board site. Um, this one is uh, schematic symbols. So it's a PC a PC board with sch schematic symbols, which is kind of kind of different. Um, so anyway, some uh, gates and. Uh, Optocouplers, transistors, and stuff. Uh, just kind of a nice little thing. I mean, you know, these are usually like giveaway things at a uh, at a conference or something, the uh, trade show. Uh, schematic symbols reference guide, two thousand and one. Uh, so that's kind of fun. And then, um, kind of a big brother to the rulers. This also has all of the uh, surface mount uh, packages and stuff. You know, you know, twelve ten, oh eight, oh five, all that kind of stuff, and all of the all of the uh, packages and things, um, but it's a big board, um, and it also has uh, uh, thicknesses and spacing for different types of traces and stuff on the outside. So anyway, yeah, they've added to their uh, to their swag. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, let's get this board built. Uh, I got uh, I got five boards, and um, we will need to find some parts for them. Okay, so I've been uh, loading up some boards here. I'm going to load the three, the three uh, sections separately. Uh, so I've done, I've done the uh, the Moog the Moog filter and the Roland filter, um, and uh, I certainly like this filter a lot better as far as real estate and simplicity and ease of ease of my understanding and stuff. Anyway, I think this is a, this is a winner here. Um, I haven't loaded up the, uh, I haven't done version with all the diodes yet. I'm not, you know, the more and more and more I think about this filter, I'm not a big fan any longer. So yeah, I might just skip that one. Anyway, I'll probably load it up someday, but uh, right now I'm just really interested in these two filters. So I have not turned them on yet. i uh, just in the process of, uh, process of building them and finding parts. Um, and, uh, in the mail, I got the, uh, Oscillator boards, so uh, making them in different colors. So I'm making those reds. I'm going to make this one uh, blue, and uh, this one has the uh, the three oscillators that are the audio tones, and then two low frequency oscillators that are modulation tones, and then a noise source. Um, so let me uh, pull the board up over here. Sorry. Um, so I've loaded this one up. Uh, with all of the parts on it. All the oscillators work great. Um, so these oscillators, uh, uh, so they all have 100K pots, and then uh, these oscillators have 0.1 microfarad, and I found that a, a 10 microfarad is about right for the low frequency stuff. So I'm gonna play with those obviously in the future, but uh, right now that's the way they are. So I get a good audio range out of these and a good low frequency range out of these. And the noise filter is driving me insane. It's super, super simple. And yet I can't get it to work over here. So I had, I had uh, this little prototype boards that I built and I had the, uh, I had the noise source here, which is now gone, because one by one I moved the parts over. I thought, well, maybe it's component selection or something. And one by one I moved all the parts over, 
and it still didn't work. So it seemed to work over here, but it didn't work over here, and it's the same. So I'm wondering if it doesn't like the, 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 the ground. Uh, maybe it doesn't allow it to bounce as much. I don't know. It's weird. Um, anyway, I got I to gotta breadboard that again and try to figure out what's going on here. Maybe... I don't know. I mean, it, it was a little bit picky about component selection to get the nicest range out of it and stuff, but not that big. Um, and I did try a decade box with resistors and tried to get this thing to see if there was a happy zone. Eh. And then I said, well, I'll just move all the parts over because it worked here. It's got to work over here. Now all the parts are over here and it still doesn't work. <laughs> it drives me insane. <laughs> all right. So anyway, so that's going to be going on. Uh, working on this. I'm also give you a demo of the oscillators. Uh, show you that working. Uh, and then um, I think it's almost time to run one of these. I think we'll run this one here. Um, there is a PC board mistake, not really mistake, but I, 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 I so in prototyping circuits, um, a lot of times you just need to get something so you can start hacking it and, and playing with it. So, uh, you know, all the heavy lifting is done here as far as wiring, but I did want to make a change to the schematic. Um, and so I've got some little uh, resistors here on the on the back that are needed to, to run it correctly. Um, and then I also skipped the whole portion of um, putting a constant current source on the tail of the uh, of the filter and that has to be done somewhere else so i'm just going to wire that up to uh, a, 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 a a current sink and we'll just run that externally that's what these pins are here for so we'll get we'll get this one fired up uh, we'll get this one fired up pretty soon and i also want to make that video into how do you sweep analog circuit ha, sweep analog filters um uh obviously my keithley i meant keithley my um my Rigol has a Bode plot um, capability, but it's super, super slow, and I don't like it for, for troubleshooting circuits like this. Um, and so I'm going to show a way of using a sweep generator. I've showed it many times before, but every single time I shoot a video, people say, how did you do that? And, and I just, by second nature, I wire it up. So I'm, I'm going to kind of specialize that, that video for the, how I do that uh, audio sweep. Um, but uh, yeah, let, let's uh, let's go ahead and hook this one up just to uh, demo it right now and get this uh, get this video done. So let's uh, let's hook up uh, some power and uh, take a look at it on the scope. And there we go. We've got a uh, got a nice uh, triangle wave. Let's see. Let's measure the uh, measure there. So five hundred and seventy hertz. Um, and if I go up, I'll go down, uh, 350 Hertz and I can go up to, uh, let's see here, five kilohertz, eight kilohertz. So right now it's going between eight kilohertz and, uh, 350 Hertz. So that's a little, uh, that's a little bit high. I'll probably want a little bit lower. I probably need a, a log filter for this, uh, a log a potentiometer for this uh, circuit. But anyway, it gets me up and running. Uh, and so I've got uh, uh, on each, oops, I just lost my scope uh, ground. Let me clip that back on. Uh, so for each oscillator, I've got a, both a square wave and a, uh, and a triangle wave. My scope probe keeps falling off. I don't have a good ground. I like loops. You can clip them on the loops and then they don't fall off. I just have pegs right now. Okay, uh, so that's the high frequency stuff. And then I have a, here's one of the low frequency uh, oscillators, um, 61 hertz. Let's see, I'm looking at channel one. So uh, yeah, look at that, nine hertz, four hertz. Yeah, so that'll be really good. I can go, I can do a pretty wide range. I can go from 2.7 hertz to 76 hertz. So yeah, so I think that'll be good. And again, uh, you have a triangle wave and, and a square wave. So anyway, I'm quite pleased with the, uh, oops, sorry. I'm quite pleased with the circuit now, except for the noise. I can't get the darn noise source to work. It's driving me nuts. So anyway, got to work on that. And uh Shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's like three components. <laughs> it's not terribly lot, lot to go wrong.